Thank you, board members. Um, I just want to say that um, my concern is that the union, you know, as much as we do love teachers, love what they do for the kids, but it seems that the union just really has a stranglehold over the taxpayers. Um, it almost seems, and you know, I don't know how this will sound, but I'm going to say it. It almost seems like the board is afraid of the union, afraid that if they don't give the union what they want, that they might not be reelected. I mean, that's the way I kind of have come to see it. I hope that's not true. I don't want it to be true, but my goodness, it just seems like how do you look at a budget that is running a deficit, you're going to spend $8 million more next year than you did this year, but you're getting less money next year. How, how does that compute? How do you, how do you, how do you do that? You know, and not, and not think that you've got to be the ones to cut back. Um, you know, another thing that, that it just boggles my mind still, and, and I've mentioned this before, but one area we could cut back is paying the union president a $40,000 salary and benefit program. Um, why, do we pay, why do we pay Chris Williams, our NEA union president, um, 40 grand a year to do nothing for the district? That doesn't compute. Um, I don't think most of the citizens know about that. I'm here to let you know that that's happening. Um, if you get paid by the district, you should work for the district. To me, this is a symptom of a problem where the board is willing to spend money, taxpayer money, on things that are wasteful or things that are not necessary.